all right guys welcome to another art tutorial and in this video I want to teach you guys about a package called ggplot2 and actually if you want to install this then you can go ahead and do it the old-fashioned way and you can also type install packages and as a parameter type ggplot2 and if you run this it's going to install it just like before I already have this installed so no need to double install it but basically what ggplot2 is is it's a package that gives you an alternative way of building charts and graphs and the reason that I prefer this is because first of all the other charts that we've been using were boring they were just black and white plain and simple this gives us more control over the graphics the colors and pretty much just more control over how we want the graph to display so whenever we downloaded that there's actually a library ggplot2 and this library just has a bunch of uh, sample data in it and one of the pieces of information that we could use is called diamonds and this is just a table of uh, diamond information so say that you were a diamond store I actually don't even know what half the stuff means but we can just use it for this example I know what carity cut I guess they uh, grade the color of a diamond I know what that is. I don't know what the depth of a diamond is. I don't know what this thing is. The price. I don't know what. Anyways, I'll shut up. I just want to show you guys that there is indeed uh, sample data included and we can use it if we want. So, might as well. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys how to create a scatter plot with ggplot2. Now, it's a little bit different than uh, the way we made a scatter plot before. And the function to make one is called qplot. Now, a core scatter plot is going to take three pieces of information. Of course, it needs two things so we can test the correlation against each other. So, what can we do actually? Let's just go ahead and do diamonds. Let's do the carrot and the price because, of course, the bigger your diamond, the more you're probably going to have to pay for it. So, diamonds, carrot, and copy and paste because I'm lazy, and carrot price. So those, or excuse me, diamond price. So those are the two variables or the columns that we want to compare. And for the third one, what we need to do is we actually just need to give it the data that it's going to be using. So basically what we're telling is compare this piece of information and this piece of information from this data frame. Now, whenever we run it, we can see that we now have a scatter plot with care on the bottom, price, on the, on the y-axis, care on the x-axis, I should say, and there is indeed a correlation basically telling us the bigger your diamond is, the more you're going to have to pay for it. Okay, we knew that, but you know, we're just doing this for an example. Now, the reason that I love ggplot2 is you can also color your scatter plot with built-in parameters. So, let's say that not only did we want to, uh, you know, just make a basic scatter plot comparing carrot against price or size against price? We also want to see the color of the clarity. So, what we can do is we could use a parameter called color, and we can set it equal to another column like clarity. And now, whenever we run this, I'll go ahead and talk to you guys about what's it going to display. It makes the scatter plot like before, but instead, or I shouldn't say instead, in addition to, what it does is it takes each level of clarity, which is this right here, and each diamond of that clarity, it gives a different color. So all of the green diamonds are clarity S11 or SL1. I don't, I don't even know what it is. All the blue ones are VS1. Again, I don't even, you know, know what these uh, letters stand for. But basically what I'm saying is if you ever want to have a scatter plot and if you ever want to graph a third parameter and color it as well, this is how you can do it. And uh, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to figure out what the heck all of this crap means, like uh, clarity, uh, I don't know, XYZ of a diamond. What the heck is the size of that? Maybe this is. I don't know. I'm going to go figure this out because you know i'm not a diamond expert but i do know my way around r so in the next video um i'm going to be showing you guys how to make other 
cool charts and graphs with R. So anyways, I'm going to shut up now. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.